There are some things that you should never do when you're going through depression and some things that can help you get out of depression. So in this video, we're gonna give the 10 do's and don'ts of depression, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And this week we are continuing our deep dives into a specific mental health topic. And this week we're talking about depression. Depression is something that a ton of people struggle with in many different forms, whether it's clinical depression, uh, if it's based on genetics or the way your brain is wired, or it's just situational with your life and you're going through a depression right now. We need to talk about it and here's the do's and don'ts. Don't isolate. I have talked about this before. The analogy I give is is isolating when you're depressed is like locking yourself in the room with a killer in a horror movie. You know what I mean? Like this is the bad guy when we're depressed. Do go hang out with some friends, some family, some people who care about you, whether that's your parents or your friends or your kids or your spouse, hang out with some people whose positivity can help lift you up. Don't watch the news or depressing movies. Oh boy, was I guilty of this. There's something about when we feel depressed, we just wanna sink lower into that depression and then like just browsing through the news, the news is meant to be depressing. They sensationalize things, they talk about how terrible the world is and stuff like that. Like if you're going through a depression, just have a news blackout for yourself, all right? And stay away from the sad, sad, sad movies. Do something that you enjoy, something that brings you happiness. This can be video games, it could be drawing, it could be writing, it could be putting together a model airplane, whatever your thing is, do something that you enjoy. When you have a hobby or activity, something that you're passionate about, it helps to boost neurotransmitters in your brain. And don't listen to depressing music. Oh boy, this is another thing I was guilty of. Oh man, like I would go through like a breakup or just have a bad day or my depression was just hitting me and I would just sit there and listen to the saddest, saddest music out there and it would just make things worse. Do create a go-to depression playlist. Like make a playlist on Spotify or whatever you use. I have one myself of just like the most upbeat, happy songs. Like I call these my happy songs. And maybe someday I'll share with you some of the tracks on there. But like these might be from uh, a better time in your life. Like I know for me, like, you know, when I was like carefree in high school and stuff like that. Like, so there's like a lot of like R&B on there. There's some old like pop punk, there's some like skate punk, there's all sorts of stuff, even just pop music, you know what I mean? Yeah, I even get down with some Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, lifts me right up. Don't worry, and I know how silly this sounds. I know it's easier said than done, but what happens is, is when you're stuck in your thoughts and you're worried about all these negative outcomes, what it's doing is it's actually rewiring your brain to actually intensify your negative bias. A negative bias is your ability to point out the negative in every situation. The brain is wired to do that. The brain focuses on and sees whatever you're training it to see. Do create a gratitude list. This is the simplest thing I can tell you to do that is the most beneficial. There have been studies that show people who keep a gratitude list for even two weeks, two weeks, they have decreases of depression by upwards of 80%. Think about that, just five things a day, write them down. It could be in the morning, it could be at the night, whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be like huge things, like grateful for having a roof over your head, grateful for a job, grateful for uh, being able to buy food, grateful for seeing your friends. Hey, grateful for technology, grateful that you get to check out my YouTube videos, whatever it is, write down five things a day, because what this does, it helps your brain start focusing on the positive so this actually helps you become more optimistic. And lastly, don't focus on the problem, do focus on the solution. Because that's what we do here at The Rewired Soul. There are a million different reasons why I start out every single video with we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Staying in the problem never helped anybody. All right, I will link up in the info card a video I did a long time ago about the pity party, and it's my personal method. Like, sit, be sad for a little bit, but then go out and do something. Like, I'm gonna make a video later this week. I've been struggling with depression for the last couple weeks. And like, basically, I have this entire toolbox of mental health tools, a lot of things that I provide all of you. And when I'm in that depression, I just start reaching in there and pulling out different things. Focus on the solution. Find solution-based things that you can start doing to start getting out of that depression. 
don't stay in the problem. All right, everybody, but you know what? I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear from you. Leave comments down below. Let me know what are the things that you do to pull yourself out of depression. And if you want, why don't you list some don'ts that I missed, okay? Leave those down in the comments, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And in case you missed it, if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and click on that Patreon link. You only gotta do a dollar a month. That's easy. But <laughs> anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to remember the things you don't do when you're depressed, and I'll see you next time.